My next guest. I got good, I got good guests. Didn't I have good guests? Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. My next guest is the most successful shoe salesman in Hollywood. His, his hit show, Married with Children, is beginning its sixth season. And now, and now the Bundy family is insulting each other five nights a week in syndication, you know? Bundy through Friday, you know what I mean? Now, here's Al Bundy in action. <laughs> Please welcome Ed O'Neill. I gotta get that recipe from yes. you. Have a seat, sir. Have All a right, seat. my boy. <laughs> I, see, I see that woman there like, what? Tell me, tell me. I said, I see the woman over there going, mm, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's but, not uh, so when funny. You, when you started this show, you know, Ed and I work uh, right next to each other on, uh, this, uh, on the lot over here together. We, uh, our shows are right next to each other. And, and so when you started this show, did you have any idea that it was going to be what it is? I mean, not only are you n knocking them dead on Sunday nights in, in, uh, in prime time, but your, uh, your syndicated um, uh, premiere and, and, and the weeks following have been the biggest syndicated, uh, you know, in, in the history of it. Hasn't it? I mean, it's come out really big, right? <laughs> So, did you know? Yeah, I knew. That's why I took the show. No, I had no <laughs> idea. No, I thought it was going to be like six shows and off the air. You know, I had no idea. Cool. I mean, you couldn't imagine that it would be like this. Now, you know, this year, uh, Peg, uh, Peg Bundy is, is pregnant. And I, I got to do... I, the opening show, there was a joke on the opening show that I got to do. I All have right. to do it. So, Peg is, Peg is pregnant. She's told Al that she's pregnant. And Al says, How, you know, he's going crazy. How could it be? How could it be? And she says to him, well, Al... Didn't you notice I was getting fat? And, she, and he says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You know? yeah, right. So and, right. and how about this? Last year, we were doing a movie. Uh, I did a movie called The Whereabouts of Jenny. And uh, we were up in... Uh, we were up in uh, which, you where were we? which you produced. Which I produced, right. Where were we? Where were we when we did it? Uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. And, and somebody yelled out, hey, Ted Bundy. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> right. That throws you a little bit. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, those guys named the characters of the show from the wrestlers, you know, uh, King Kong, Bundy, and uh, Steve Ro Dusty Rhodes. For the Rhodes family, I don't know why. They liked the uh, wrestling. So, you used to do some serious acting. I mean, yeah. not that this isn't serious, because, yeah. you know... Uh, Pays all the rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, people say to me, are you acting, or are you, are you just doing, you know, being yourself? And I tell them, it's me in a good mood, <laughs> you know. But, um, but you used to be a serious... You did a, you did a lot of serious stuff, I mean... Uh, Movies and stuff, but you also did some a lot of stage work, and the yeah. one that I remember is Knockout with Danny Aiello right? uh, many years ago, right on Broadway. And you played Patty Klonsky. The... I played a 1940s psychotic boxer. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it was it was quite a role. So what was it like? Oh, somebody saw that. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's 12 years ago. So when you worked with Danny, how you, did you? Uh, you know, our friend Danny Aiello, how'd you, uh, how'd you, get, how'd you get along with Dan? Well, it was good. We, it was my first big break, so, I mean, I was real thankful to be up there with the guy. You know, yeah. he had a great, he had come off Gemini, and uh, he was doing real well, you know. But we had, you know, we had choreographed the whole fight scenes, and I mean, well, you know, you're a boxer. You're... Well, I've done, I did some this week. Uh, forget about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You also, you know, Ed, also, Ed, Ed was a serious football player. Besides being a serious actor, you were a football player. Who'd you, what college? I was a rookie with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I had a... Uh, I had played college ball at Ohio University. And I, it was... Uh, I, uh, I was a rookie Chuck Knoll's first year, so you know how long ago that was. Well, I won't was say. With Joe Gre I was a rookie with Joe Green. Okay. Joe Green and all those guys were the, before the Steelers got real good. Joe Green was a rookie when you were a rookie? Rookie with me. Holy mackerel, yeah. man. 1941, <laughs> I think it was. So now you're still playing sports? I play handball. I play handball at the beach. I play three-wall handball and four-wall handball. And uh, as a matter of fact, the funny thing, well, it's not funny. It's a tragic thing. I was playing handball in New York, and I was doing the Letterman show. So I come on the Letterman show, and he said, where you been? Where'd you do all that? I said, well, I was playing handball. And he said, oh, that's a great, great sport. I think it's great for your body to play handball. And I said, guy died on the court today. 
Guy died right in front of me on the court. This old guy, I knew him for 10 years. Was his you were playing the guy? I was playing. The, oh, yeah, I wasn't playing him, but I was on the next court over. Oh, it was horrible. But <laughs> well, <laughs> tough to... <laughs> well, how do you get out of this one, Tone? <laughs> we'll be right back. No, no, no. No, no, but, um, I, I, you know, I have to... Could you bring me this thing? I have to bring something. Oh, that, You yeah. know, yes, Ed. You know, here's the uh, latest copy of my favorite paper, The Globe. You know, yeah, yeah, and I've had my run in this paper, but Ed has a new one here. I thought I might bring this out. Married with Children co-stars in Red Hot Real Life Love Affair. It's Christina and Ed. <laughs> yes, yes. It says here that Christina and Ed are sizzling soulmates. Says an insider. I like to know who that insider is. Yeah, that's what I like. To Everybody's know. got an insider. Where, where do they get this stuff? Now it huh? says here that you were spotted. Wait a minute. It says here you were spotted at Morton's with this girl. Now, I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, I know Christina. I'm, I'm a little shocked, eh? <laughs> oh, shocked. I don't even. That's right. <laughs> no, I don't know where they come up with these things. You know. The... Have you been to Morton's with her? Right? Tell me the truth. I, the only people I've been to Morton's with was Gary Lieberthal. And I know and, he don't look like a... And Jim Wyatt, from I, the president of ICM. Oh, oh, there they are. Yeah, there's now, pictures see, they're, of them. Yeah, they're pretty... Now, that doesn't look like Christina. That's Lieberthal. He's a pretty guy, but he's... Yeah, and that's yeah, and Wyatt. That's Jim. Oh, a lovely picture. You know, that's our agent. We and both that, have that agent. <laughs> and, they, and somehow they confused one of those two guys, or both of them, for Christina Applegate. I don't know. It says here... Wait, let me just say here. Let me just say here. Let's see. Christina got his mind off his problems by dragging him out to a showbiz event and dinner. She became a friend he knew he could count on. Yeah. Yes, it says sparks began to fly between O'Neill <laughs> and this 19-year-old co-star when their personal lives crashed and burned. Oh, please. <laughs> please. Now, listen. I wish, you, uh, I wish you all the best of luck this season. Thanks, I, know you're, I know it's just going to be great, and with the syndication package, and, uh, and I really appreciate you coming. Thank you. you My know? pleasure. Okay. My like pleasure. Ted O'Neill. Oh, next, next, the Mighty Echoes. Stick around.